Hi guys, and hello and welcome to Yuba's Corner. Today, we're playing Oblivion. And we're on Coral. Foggy as shit Coral. And we're headed for Cloud Rural Temple. But first, let's go to Bruma. I don't know if you can fast travel to uh, to um, that temple thing, but um, I... no, no. We're headed to Bruma first, I decided. And then we can go. From here, do you plan a real temple? Because this is much more aversive. Travelling around in the fog. That is uh, currently... F not just in Coral, apparently. It's most of friggin' Cyrodiil. Um, but we're having great FPS, so it's fine. He says as it lags. <laughs> yeah. So. With uh, our friends keeping up. <laughs> Uh, just fine behind there. We're gonna head off to Cloud Ruler Temple Which is up there Yeah This is definitely my favorite part of uh, Like Cyrodiil. I really like the north Because I am a Norwegian and I do like cold things with a lot of snow That are generally unpleasant because I'm weird like that But um, yeah, this is this is my kind of environment. Lovely below zero degrees. Speaking of which, it's actually snowing outside like quite a lot. Like it's been like, it's like 20, 30 centimeters of snow, like this, just this day. I mean, I, it's not really a lot, but where I am, it tends to be relatively mild and it does rain quite a lot, but it's very rarely, uh, because of the Gulf Stream, it's very rarely like actually um, snow. So most of the winter tends to be around like zero degrees, and that's it. But right now it's like a couple of minus, we're getting some snow. Honestly, it's just fine though. Yeah. I mean, go a, bit, a little bit further inland and it's like 10 degrees below zero right now, and it's probably going to go to like minus 20 throughout the winter. Yeah. <sighs> but that's just the way it is. Grandmaster, is this... Yes, Cyrus. This is the Emperor's son, Martin Sefton. My lord, welcome to Cloud Ruler Temple. We have not had the honor of an emperor's visit in many years. Ah, well, thank you. <laughs> the honor is mine. Come, your blades are waiting to greet you. He's just taken aback. He's just like, all right then. I didn't know this, but all right. Oh, actually, I think I might know why I'm having FPS problems. It's probably to do with my capturing method. Oh, Bandicam. I mean, honestly, it's not that bad. I can live with it, Blade. definitely. Dark times are upon us. The Emperor and his sons were slain on our watch. The Empire is in chaos. But there is yet hope. Here is Martin Septim. True son of Uriel Septim. Hail, hail Dragonborn! Dragonborn. Hail, 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 Lord Lord Septim. Septim. hail! 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 Your Highness, the blades are at your command. You will be safe here until you can take up your throne. Joffrey, all of you, I know you all expect me to be Emperor. I'll do my best. But this is all new to me. I'm not used to giving speeches, but. I, I wanted you to know that I appreciate your welcome here. I hope I prove myself worthy of your loyalty in the coming days. That's it. Thank you. Well then, thank you, Martin. We'd all best get back to our duties, eh, Captain? I don't know, that wasn't that bad. Not much of a speech, was it? <laughs> Didn't seem to bother them, though. The blade saluting me and hailing me as Martin Septim. I don't mean to sound ungrateful. I know I would be dead by now if it weren't for you. Thank you. But everyone expects me to suddenly know what to do, how to behave. They want an emperor to tell them what to do. And I haven't the faintest idea. Yeah, we need to, need to get the amulet back so that you can start ordering them to do that. Of course. The amulet of kings. So we... I and take it to the Temple of the One and light the dragon fires and stop 
the Oblivion invasion. Yes, and then you'll be Emperor. And you'll get a cozy life. The Emperor? <laughs> That's an idea that will take some getting used to. In any case, we need the amulet first. Maybe Joffrey will know where to start. All practitioners of Daedric magic are familiar with the almost impenetrable barrier between our world and Oblivion. What the Emperor told you implies that the amulet is the key to the preservation of that barrier. What I saw at Kavach, everything I know about Daedric magic says that such stable portals are impossible. Yet those gates to Oblivion existed. The old rules no longer apply. Kavach is only the beginning of what Mayrun's Dagon will do. Um. If the amulet is truly the key to restoring the barriers between our world and Oblivion, we must waste no time in recovering it. Yeah, that's not good at all. Alright, so... Brother Martin... Tell us something more about Diedrich magic. I haven't always been a priest. In my youth, I followed a different path. I know more than I want to about the seductive power of Daedric magic. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> Something has changed to make these stable portals to oblivion possible. Joffrey believes that the death of the Emperor and the darkening of the Dragonfires is the key. Well, that does seem likely. But alright then, so... It is, um... Don't worry about me, my friend. I know I'm in good hands here. Hopefully you are. All right then. So, well, not really the big question, but um, what do we do now? I know we have to get the amulet back, but um, you have proven yourself a loyal servant of the Empire, as worthy as any of the blades to stand by Martin's side during this crisis. As the Grand Master of the Blades, I would be honored to accept you into our order. Will you join us? Um, yeah. It is my honor to welcome you into our ranks as a Knight Brother of the Blades. Great, okay, got another Akibiri Katana. Yeah, I already have one of those, but it's okay. Um, alright, what, what can we do about all the right. amulet? We must try to recover the amulet before the enemy takes it out of our reach. You should go back to the Imperial City. Boris may have learned something about the assassins. Hmm, You'll find point. Boris at Luther Broad's boarding house in the Elven Gardens district of the Imperial City. Okay, so... Um, I need to head to Boris now. To Boris. Tell him he should not blame himself for the Emperor's death. He did well to send him. Alright then, so... That is our job right now. We're a member of the Blades. We got our Akivir Katana. It's just as good as the one we have right now. So I might as well sell it. You know, get some money. <laughs> Be a bit of um, a... <laughs> Maybe disrespectful, I don't know. Um, but I'll make money. And uh, I, I sure do love some money, so... Uh, no, I haven't been to talk to him yet, because I am exploring stuff first. But I should probably just go head over to him, like, once, because there's really no reason to wait. No, there is not, actually. I mean, I can, I can grab stuff that's around here. Like, that's actually why I went into here. So I could get some of, uh... Some of these things that are useful. The Waters of Oblivion. A lot of really expensive... Well, that's one really expensive book. Alright, I suppose. Martins is reading up on How to Be a King 101 by How to Basic and uh, Guides for Dummies. <laughs> and uh, trying to be the best emperor he can be, and I respect that. I really do. But for our case, in our sake, uh, we need to go to the... Uh, to the Imperial City. 
So we have a job to do. We've got to talk to Boris in the Elven Garden District. Let's be a little bit role play and go to the chestnut stables. I've decided to try to do as little as possible, uh, I don't know, manual traveling, I guess, by horse in this game. It's, you know, game's got a good atmosphere, but I don't know if that would be like the best content. Because we're running the main quest here and that might distract a little bit from the experience. Because it's not necessarily that interesting to see me walk around all the time. But alright, so. But now we're headed for the um, Elven Gardens. And we're gonna find Boris and we're gonna talk to him. And he's gonna tell me what, um, what I need to know about how we find the Amulet of Kings. Look! It's the arena! And, um, I think some of the character models from uh, this poster have been taken from the first game, Elder Scrolls Arena. Yeah. If you know anything about the Elder Scrolls 1, uh, like uh, the development history, you know Bethesda really didn't uh, plan to do, like, a role-playing game, it just ended up being a role-playing game. They used to make sports games and then wanted to like make like an arena fighter. But it ended up being more fun doing role-playing stuff than doing uh, than doing uh, proper uh, d fighting in arenas. So they just decided, oh screw it, we're nerds. <laughs> and they went ahead. Wow Boris, you're drinking fast. I know you shouldn't Listen, blame yourself. I'm going to get up in a minute and walk out of here. That guy in the corner behind me will follow me. You follow him. Good. Remember, wait for him to follow me. I want to see what he'll do. All right. Greetings to you. Isn't Ida of Lenormen an agile one? If you want to learn to fall off a building, she's the one to talk to. What's going on here? What is that guy planning to do to Boris? Need him alive. The enemy agent to attack Boris is dead. I should find out what Boris has learned about Tyrannus. Search his body. I'll keep an eye out in case. Huh. Mythic Dawn commentaries number one. I have found a strange book about the Mythic Dawn cult. I should show this to Boris. Yes, I should. All right, Boris. What do you have to say? Good work. I am glad to see you. By the way, you just caught me at a bad time. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. The assassins who killed the Emperor were part of a Deirdre cult known as the Mythic Dawn. Apparently worshipped the Deirdre Lord Mayrunes Dagon. I've been tracking their agents in the Imperial City. I guess they noticed. Well, um... I should break the good news first, you know, that's what you start with. Thank Talos he lives! Martin Septim, you say? We will restore him to the throne. It is the sworn duty of all blades! Yes, but... What? They took it from Joffrey? It's a worse <laughs> Oh, God. Um, all right. There's a scholar at the Arcane University. Tarmina's her name. Supposed to be an expert on Diedrich cults. Why don't you take that book to her? See what she makes of it. I'll keep running down leads on the Mythic Dawn Network. If you learn anything, you can find me at Luther Broads. May Talos guide you. Like I said, she's one of the brains over at the Arcane University. Supposed to know everything there is to know about Deidre cults. All right. Okay, you just run down. All right, so you'll be busy running down, as I can see you did to that guy. Uh, the Mythic Dawn people. Um, that's actually our... Am I going to break in and steal some stuff? No, I'm not. Can't be bothered. And our dear friend Boris just leaves a rotting corpse in the basement. Good job, Boris. All right, so we're headed for the Arcane University, and that's like in that bit. 
Uh, straight over from there. Well, I suppose we can just walk. I mean, like, we're not going to die from some walking, are we now? We're going to be just fine. Just fine. Alright, so. He loved the outlaw. Tool gangster for roommate. Okay, so. We're headed to the, uh, oh, okay, the Noclip University. And we're going to see what we can do about the amulet. Hmm. Well, there's a lot of people leaving okay. around right now. Right then, um Yeah. What is it, citizen? I don't really know what to say right now. Oh see so, yeah. Um Imperial Watch. Wooden door to City Owl. Guess I could talk some about my computer while we wait to reach the Arcane University. Um yeah, right now. Um because I'm I'm sort of like you might be still be able to hear some static noise in the background of my videos that is completely unavoidable and it's actually mostly because of my CPU right now and not because of my GPU because the fan speed on the GPU is nearly like impossible to hear but um the fans on my CPU uh, I have water a liquid cool radiator CPU and the radiator is really good but the fan for the radiator is really not so I've uh, bought an <laughs> ultra no noise uh, fan from Noctua that's uh, probably arriving in the mail tomorrow or uh, the day after that, depending on how terrible the Christmas rush is going to be regarding to the postal service. But I'm going to replace the fan I have over my uh, radiator right now with an ultra low noise one. So it'll go from being like nearly 40 friggin decibels at max to like under 10 which is completely inaudible so um yeah that's gonna be good but um time to talk to Tarmina ah you must be the one I got the message about how can I help you um you can help me with uh, the mythic dawn you know of them one of the most secretive of all the daedric cults not much is known about them they follow the teachings of Maengar Cameron, whom they call the Master, a shadowy figure in his own right. Hmm. Well, I found one of the books. Ah, yes. Commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes. Wonderful. You have a scholarly interest in Daedric cults, then? Um, no. Just like um, a hero. Gotta save some emperors and stuff. Yeah, that's about it. Find them, huh? Eh? I won't poke my nose any further. Official business and all that. I'm used to working with the blades. Don't worry. Say no more. In any case, finding them won't be easy. I've studied Mankar Cameron's writings a bit myself. At least those that I could find. It is clear from the text that Mankar Cameron's commentaries come in four volumes, but I've only ever seen the first two books. I believe that his writings contain hidden clues to the location of the Mythic Dawn's secret shrine to Merun's Dagon. Those who unlock this hidden path have proven themselves worthy to join the ranks of the Mythic Dawn cult. Finding the shrine is the first test. If you want to find them, you'll need all four volumes of the commentaries. Okay. So where can I find these books? Here. You can have the library's copy of Volume 2. Treat it gently, if you please. As I've said, I've never even seen the third and fourth volumes. You should try first edition over in the Market District. Fintius, the proprietor, caters to specialist collectors. 
he may have an idea of where to locate those books. Well, that's good. Um, I was hope I really thought you were going to suggest that um, I just go in and buy it because uh, <laughs> that would be stupid. All right. Can you tell me about Mankar Cameron? The supposed leader of the mythic Dawn Cult. He wrote the infamous commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes. The commentaries are contemporary with Tiber's Septum over 400 years ago, so he is unlikely to still be alive, although you never know. Okay. Um, what about, what is the Mysterium Xarxes? The Holy Book of the Mythic Dawn, supposedly written by Merun's Dagon himself. If it exists, it would be an artifact of great and evil power. All right. What about the Mythic Dawn then? They worship the Daedra Lord Merun's Dagon, according to the teachings of their leader, Mainkar Cameron. No one knows how widespread the cult is or where their shrine to Merun's Dagon is located. Hmm. Okay, so, uh, what about the Imperial City then? Do you like. No, I just won't ask you so anything nice more. Chatting with you. Be sure to let me know how your hunt for the Mythic Dawn turns out. You'll probably turn out with lots of dead Mythic Dawn people and uh, me being all like, yeah! I'm the best. That tends to happen, but um, yeah. So, um, next time we're gonna go over to first edition, talk with Ona, find some books, uh, get the books, um, kill Maven as Dagon, and everything will be just fine. So yeah, follow up for that, and don't subscribe. <laughs> subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.